Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential problem. Now make sure to stick to the end of the problem where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have 2 to the power of 20 minus 1. Now 20 here, we can rewrite this as 10 times 2. So now I have 2 to the power of 10 times 2 minus 1. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 10 times 2, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 10 to the power of 2, and I have this minus 1. So now 1 here, this is the same thing as 1 squared. And if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is equal to 2 to the power of 10, and b is equal to 1. So I have 2 to the power of 10 plus 1 times 2 to the power of 10 minus 1. Now, 2 to the power of 10, this is equal to 1,024. So now I have 1,024 plus 1 times 1,024 minus 1. 1,024 plus 1, that's going to be equal to 1,025. And 1,024 minus 1, that's equal to 1,023. So now I'm left with 1,025 times 1,023. So now, let's go ahead and evaluate this. Well, first off, 1,025, to make this simpler, we can rewrite this as 1,000 plus 25. And 1,023, we can rewrite this as 1,000 plus 23. So now we have 1,000 plus 25 times 1,000 plus 23. So to solve this, I'm going to start by distributing the 1,000. So now I have 1,000 squared plus 23 times 1,000 plus 25 times 1,000 plus 25 times 23. So now 1,000 squared, that's going to equal 1 million plus 23 times 1,000 is 23,000, 25 times 1,000 is 25,000, and 25 times 23, that's going to be 575. So now if you add all of these together, you get 1,048,575. So this is my answer. All right, so I have x to the power of x to the power of 2 is equal to 16. So I want to find the value of x here. For my solution, first start with x to the power of x to the power of 2 is equal to 16. Now I'm going to take the power of 2 on both sides. So now I have x to the power of x to the power of 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 16 to the power of 2. Important property of exponents is that if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. And m and n, these two are interchangeable, meaning a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of n times m. So if a to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n, then this means that a to the power of n times m, this is equal to a to the power of n to the power of n. So in simpler terms, a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So right here, we have x to the power of x to the power of 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 16 to the power of 2. So we can think of x to the power of 2 as m, and 2 as n. So this is the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of m, meaning if we change these two places, this is going to equal x to the power of 2 to the power of x to the power of 2, which is equal to 16 to the power of 2. Now I'm going to let x to the power of 2 equal to the variable y. So now I have y to the power of y is equal to 16 to the power of 2. Now 16, this is the same thing as 4 to the power of 2. So now I have y to the power of y is equal to 4 to the power of 2 to the power of 2. 
Now, if we go back, remember how if we have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So four to the power of two, to, four to the power of two to the power of two, that's going to equal four to the power of two times two. And two times two, that's equal to four. So I have y to the power of y is equal to four to the power of four. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, then this means that a is equal to b. So in this case, y is equal to four. However, remember, we're solving for the value of x. So if x squared is equal to y and y equals four, this means that x squared is equal to four. So now to solve this, I'm gonna take the square root on both sides. These two cancel out. Now I'm left with x is equal to positive or negative two. So this is my answer. All right, so I have six to the power of x is equal to 60. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rewrite 60 as six times 10. So now I have six to the power of x is equal to six times 10. Now I'm gonna go ahead and divide both sides by six. So then these two cancel out. Now I'm left with six to the power of x over six is equal to 10. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m minus n. So in this case, 6 is the same thing as 6 to the power of 1. So I have 6 to the power of x over 6 to the power of 1. And if you divide these two, you get 6 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 10. Now, if I take the log on both sides, I have log 6 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to log 10. So an important property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this x1 and b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, log 6 to the power of x minus 1, I can move x minus 1 to the front. So this is going to equal x minus 1 times log 6 which is equal to log 10. Now, if I divide both sides by log six, these two cancel out, and now I'm left with x minus one is equal to log 10 over log six. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add one on both sides. So these two cancel out. Now I'm left with x is equal to log 10 over log six plus one. Now log 10, this is the same thing as one. So now I have x is equal to one over log six plus one. So log six, this is equal to 0 0.7782. So if I replace 0 0.7782 with log six, I get x equals one over 0 0.7782 plus one. Now one over 0 0.7782, that's 1.2850 plus one. And this is equal to 2.2850. So this is my answer.